Good afternoon. We'll be into three parts today for the Sundays as well. And we'll start with Paul at Sky Sports. Hi, Frank. What are the chances that Mason Wink plays some part in the game against Liverpool at the weekend? He's got a chance. Um, we all saw the, well, the image of the tackle afterwards made it look pretty bad. And um, I hope it's not so bad. We're trying to get him moving uh, today. And uh, it's one we're going to have to call. Well, I'll have to call later on just before the game uh, with another 24 hours in the bank, etc. So uh, we're trying. And the good thing with Mason is his attitude, which I keep going on about, is so good that he give everything to, to get out there and play for this club, particularly in a game of this size. So we'll have every opportunity and try um, to get him there. Does that suggest there's no lasting sort of ligament damage or anything? That's just a clear ladder. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of swelling and there was, uh, you know, it, was, uh, it didn't look the best. But um, I think some injuries with the ankle from my experience as well. I'm not a doctor, but if there's struck proper damage, you know, there's not much you can do. But sometimes if they're swollen and you strap it up, old school and, and get out there, it can be done. So we won't take any risks with him individually, obviously, because there's a bigger picture. But um, as I say, we'll all do our best. How much of a boost was it to have Ingolo Kante back training with the group and also have you got an update on Antonio Rudiger? Yeah, it's a, it's a boost uh, with Ingolo. Um, we all know the importance of him for the team, uh, for any team he plays in, obviously, and the attributes that he brings. The question for me is uh, how fit he is because he's had a long time out now since the back of the last season. I know he played a couple of games this year, but I didn't count him as such because he missed the pre-season, to be honest. And what he did in Istanbul was miraculous as opposed to the norm play how he did without training. Um, so now we just have to manage him, similar to what I said with Mason, it's like the bigger picture. It's uh, great to have him back on the rounds. You call it miraculous, how much will, will that performance from him in Istanbul factor, be a factor in your decision for, for something? Um, a factor amongst others, but I, put it, I know I said it when I came here, delighted like to come and work with a player of his quality, so uh, I'll factor it all in and uh, if he can bring us positive on the pitch because his fitness is good enough except for now the injury is even and he still feels it occasionally then I'll take that into consideration. You've got great news this week with the, the confirmation that Callum hudson Doyle has signed committed his long term future to Chelsea. Just wonder what role did you play in that? What did you say to, to, to help convince him to sign that contract? Well I spoke to Callum um, pre-season when we were away in Dublin and um, Pretty much as soon as I got the job, I sort of made contact with him. So make him aware that you know I wanted to be a part of the plans. I think it was a young lad who's come through the academy here. The club's worked hard with him. He's worked hard to get in the first team or one foot in the first team. Um, and for me, it just felt as you know what everybody wanted. Um, so then, it was away from me slightly in terms of the club will deal with the contracts in itself. But I wanted to make it clear that I want him at the club. Um, because I know I believe in his talent. I also now, now that now the five-year contract is, is signed, uh, is when the hard work really starts for him. So it's uh, he's got everything in front of him. We know the talent that he has. He's shown it on occasions for, in the first team when he got his opportunity. But I think there's a lot more, and it's uh, pure hard work that's getting there. Did he require much persuasion to sign on? Because there was a lot of talk that he was. To, to moving on and wanted to move on, did it require much persuasion? A lot of that talk was before me, to be fair, and a lot of that talk was from last season, so I only saw that from the outside. The only conversations I had were not, were not persuasion, they were just talking about you know, how I, I see it at the club. And, uh, and hopefully, Cannon can look at the other players around him, the younger players, that are getting their opportunities, which is are not just handed on a plate, they're handed because they deserve them, because the players have worked so hard in pre season. When you talk about Tammy and Mason and Picayo, so. Um, there's a nice thing for him to see and hopefully be hungry for and now it's signed and sealed we can put that to bed and uh, as I say get to work. Final one for me, the, the Premier League, EFL and the EFA have, have met Twitter today to have some talks about the abuse on social media that they've described it as quite constructive. I suppose how welcoming is that just in general, Tammy Abraham's obviously been a victim of that. Um, how welcoming is it to, to see progression there? I don't know if that's progression. Only progression is only action. So maybe it's action to talk. But I think when you look at the social media platforms, balls in their court. Which people shouldn't be allowed to hide behind another name, another persona, another whatever. And 
to say anything about anyone and the levels that we've been seeing recently. That goes across the board, not just Tammy, there are lots and lots of things said about players, people in the spotlight, day in, day out. Um, and I can't stand it, it's not right. Um, so let's see what the action is from there. Luce, uh, does the Super Cup final have any bearing on Sunday's game? Um, well, for us, it's to, it will show us that we can compete with what are on form the best team in the country. I know it was earlier in the season, there are different things to take into account from that, but I thought we more than uh, had ourselves in a good manner and, uh, and could have won the game, from our opinion, should have won the game, but it's taken our chances. Um, but every game is a new thing. Um, we we'll have to be at our best, which we've shown in, in phases this season and other times we haven't. And against Liverpool, the one thing to be sure is if you aren't at your best for those 90 minutes or if there's tough moments and you can, can't dig in, then now I think we'll punish it. So, um, yeah, I think this, this game is, is now on its own, of course, in front of us, playing up against the, the best team in the country at the moment. Jürgen's been gushing this praise about you, young player. He rates them all at 60 million pounds or more and thinks that, like you, they've got the chance this year because they're good enough. Is that nice when one of the best managers in the world looks at what you're doing and who you're playing and is, it, is praise worthy of? It's not like the players on me. I don't need the praise. I just, I just respect him hugely, and uh, it was a, a nice thing for me going up against him in the Super Cup because I do have a huge respect. I love the way he's come into that club. He's career, man, but not just that professionally. How he went in there and has his way and doesn't mess about, and he's got the quite right the success he deserves for how he works. Um, so I'll take words from him as a fantastic and experienced coach uh, about our players and what they're doing and hopefully working in the right way and um, and be happy with that yeah so that, as I said if, she's, if you talk about individual players and that's great for them and as I also keep saying every game that we talk it's that we must never accept that as uh, that's praise that's great and now I can relax I need to to use that to get them better. Finally from me is it the, the biggest test for Tammy up against Van Dijk and for uh, Tamori up against uh, which other the front three Liverpool we played against on, on Sunday. Well, if they play, yes. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah but I know what you mean because I think Van Dijk, clearly, the performances he's put in this year, throwing him up into the all the awards individually, is quite right. He's an incredible player and uh, seemingly has every attribute needed to be a defender and more. Um, so, yeah, a test for our centre forward. And, yeah, I mean, Tamori, I think, has shown. Um, Real, real quality and a real calmness about how he's arrived into the first team in the Premier League. Um, what we must make sure is, as I sort of alluded to earlier, with Liverpool, you give them one second, or half a second, and they're gone, and they can and they can hurt you. So those are the things that all our defenders will have to be aware of. Okay, last question, Martin. Hi Frank. Hi mate. Um, Jürgen did praise you actually as well. So <laughs> I feel I'm needing you. <laughs> you can blush at that as well. Um, I was just going to ask about you. I've seen you around here for so many years, coming in, doing your work, going away again. What's life been like the last three months back? Back at Cobham, back at Stamford Bridge? Um, hard work. Um, and in the right way, I always expected that. I had hard work at Derby last year and coming to Chelsea. Um, it's a club that I obviously love and I feel at home, but it hasn't taken away the fact that I want to give everything to try and be a success here. So, um, great to be around familiar faces. Um, but it's been tough because I want success and I think it only comes with one way and, uh, and I'm working towards that so yeah I've had some some great moments where you see signs of improvement you know the Wolves game last week was, was something special for me to see um, a, a really good team performance but within that the, uh, the, the young lads that come through the academy getting um, quite rightly praised for the way they performed um, so those sort of moments are there, but yeah, I am one of those, I am in the moment, and at the moment I'm working towards something, so can't say I'm kicking back and enjoying it yet, um, albeit I'm very happy to be here. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Okay, cameras off please, we'll move on to the daily newspapers.